Hi guys, it's your girl Candidly Kyla here back with another video. I am so excited to be doing this video. I love these kinds of videos. I literally wait all year long for these videos to come out. So I was like, why don't you do one? So um, this is it guys. This is the what I got my kid for Christmas video. Oh my gosh. I think I might've went a little bit overboard, but when don't I ever. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to do this video and show you guys what I got my son for Christmas. He is three going on 35. Um, he loves all things. Let me see, Paw Patrol, Spidey and His Amazing Friends, Monster Trucks, Bluey, Peppa Pig, um, what else? What am I missing? Vlad and Nikki, Ryan's World, all the things. Um, so I tried to get him a gift that kind of fit all of his interests. I'm just kind of looking around here and I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. I hope you guys can get some good um, recommendations of things to get your kiddos. And if you've already put out one of these videos, I have, I'm pretty sure I've watched it. And I've probably commented on it. And some of these gifts I was influenced to buy from watching other people's videos. So hopefully y'all can get some ideas from me. Um, I do want to say that this, this, this is a lot. This is a lot. Um, but whatever you do for your family is what works for you. If you guys do like the four gift rule, or if you go all out for your kids, do what works for you guys. I remember very vividly, 2020 was a year where I could not do for my son. Like that year was probably the the worst year uh, for, for a lot of us because of the pandemic. I personally was laid off of my job and I didn't have any money. Like I had found another job, which I'm still working that same job to this day, uh, but I had found a job like right after Thanksgiving. So that gave me, you know, four weeks <laughs> on, on, on a good day to try to get him something for Christmas that year. But I was like behind on bills and I had to go to like toy drives to get him stuff for Christmas. And I think he only had like three gifts from me and then the rest was from like toy drives that we went to uh, to get him gifts but you know what he still had a great christmas that year and i still have videos of him opening up those gifts and how excited he was um in 2020 but i, I look around now and i'm like wow god has brought us quite a way um from then but if you are watching this video and you're in a season of your life where you're like oh my gosh like christmas is coming i don't have the funds don't worry about it whatever you do for your kid is enough trust me just you being there basking in the feelings of Christmas and all that this this time of year brings for a lot of us uh, is enough. Um, but as far as some tips that I might have for you as far as like how to to save, definitely don't just buy the first gift that you see. My, big, my biggest tip would be to make a list. Don't just go in the store and aimlessly wander around because that is what I did last year and I had a lot of stuff that he really didn't play with. Um, so go in, go in with a list of things that you want and then shop around for the lowest price. Don't just think Amazon has the lowest price or Walmart has the lowest price. I found that Kohl's has a lot of low prices and nobody's talking about Kohl's, but check them out. Um, I got a, a few of his gifts from there. Um, go into the stores. Burlington has a lot of things on sale and that's where a lot of his stuff came from as well. But like I said, make that list and just kind of see what you can find. One thing I wish I would have told myself in 2020, and it has really saved me this year, is five below. If you are not shopping at five below, I don't know what you are doing. They have name brand. I didn't know five below was coming how they were coming, y'all. Like they have cocoa melon toys, actual Hot Wheels. Um, I don't know if y'all can see up here, these Spidey and his amazing friends, like little cars. I got those at five below and, and they weren't even five dollars. I think they were three dollars when I went to get them. And my son, I meant to put this in his stocking, but he was with me when I went into five below. So he's actually already been playing with these. But like that would be a good gift if your kid is really into Spidey and his amazing friends. They have the Cocoa Melon toys just like this. They have Blippi toys just like that. Um, for older kids, they have like gaming headphones. 
um, the LED lights that go around the room. You know how teenagers like to kind of spice things up. So if you are in a season where you're a little strapped for cash, you could do your entire Christmas shopping at Five Below and it would be good stuff. They have board games, Monopoly, Sorry. They had a Paw Patrol game in there. Um, they had a Spidey and His Amazing Friends matching game in there. Peppa Pig. They had those wooden puzzles that are going for $15, $16 on Amazon for $5. So y'all do not sleep on five below. But just shop around and see where you can find um, the best deals. That would be my best advice for you. Most of this stuff I got on sale. And I will, some of them still have like the price on them. Like this, this right here. Um, so I'll try to say the price if I can remember or if I see it. So before I get into the gifts, I do want to tell y'all how we do Christmas here. So we, I kind of do categories, uh, for my gifts. Um, you guys have probably heard of like the four gift rule where it's like, uh, something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. I don't really do those categories um but I try to make sure that my gifts fit into these five areas so the first one would be um something educational something dealing with transportation so like something that he can ride on or something that he can fly like a drone or something like that um something music related something art related and something for God because Jesus is the reason for the season at least that's what we believe over here um so I always try to get him a gift um, dealing with the Lord in some way. So I guess I'll actually start off with that gift just to um, get it out of the way because I only have one gift for that. Um, and that is this. And he actually already got both of these. Um, this is not for God, but I will hold this up. It's the five minute Marvel stories. And this came from five below y'all. I believe it was $3. Um, and so what I do a lot of people do like the December 1st box. I actually do a day after Thanksgiving box. And the reason for that is growing up on Thanksgiving, my mom would be up early cooking and we would watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And every time Santa Claus's float, cause you know his float is the last one in the parade. Every time it would come up, my mom would be like, all right, y'all, it's time for Christmas. And so in, in my household, as soon as you cut that turkey and throw your plate in the trash on Thanksgiving, it's Christmas time. We're moving on to the next thing. We're moving on to Holly Jolly, Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, the reindeers. That is what we are doing the day after Thanksgiving. So I gave him a day after Thanksgiving like basket and I wish I would have done a video of everything that he got because he got a lot of like toys with that as well that he can play with um, throughout the month leading up to Christmas. And so, yeah, I should have done a video of that. But this was included in that is the five minute Marvel stories book. Again, this came from five below and it just, ooh. Okay. Y'all look at the, do y'all see that? Come on, pages. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's going to love this. And I'm a big Marvel. Oh, and Black Panther's on the front. Yes. Oh, yeah. Miles Morales. Hmm. Yes, I love the Avengers as well. I'm a huge Avengers fan, so I know he's going to love this as well, and I'm going to enjoy reading this to him. Um, but the gift that I got him for the Lord is this. I found this on Amazon. I believe it was eight. Yes, eight ninety nine. It is a preschooler's best story and activity Bible. And so the goal is for us to do some of these little stories every day. Um, and it comes with... It says 100 activities, including stickers, which my son loves stickers, suitable for ages four to seven. So, you know, you've got all kind of pictures, puzzles, all that sort of stuff. So the goal is for us, like I said, to do a page out of here, a couple pages out of here every day um, of December. So this is his God gift, but it came in his um, day after Thanksgiving basket that I already gave him. So let me put that down there. I don't even know where to start, honestly. Let's start with Bluey. Yeah, we're gonna start with the Bluey toys because he loves Bluey. I love Bluey. Bluey is amazing. She's the show, Bandit, Chili, Bingo, everybody. They're just amazing. 
if you have not like Louie really is for us as adults like it's one of those shows that like I can watch when he's at school <laughs> and be completely content um so I got this because he had no bluey figurines so I got this off of Amazon I don't remember the cost I wish I did I want to say it was ten dollars uh but it's the bluey family figurine set so it comes with all of them it comes with bandit chili bluey and bingo and i felt like this is perfect it's just standard bluey figurines nothing nothing crazy no extra characters just the main ones and i think he's really going to enjoy um having this the next bluey gift that i got him is bingo so he already has a bluey plushie um and she's somewhere in the playroom like if i showed y'all over here y'all would be like girl what's going on but all his like stuffed animals and hot wheels are over on that side but he already had the bluey plushie but he did not have bingo and i believe she oh it says i oh it's a talking bingo so yes yeah, she talks let's see oh yes oh i didn't know it played the song i love it what okay yeah so i got this off of amazon i believe she was twenty dollars um and I, I thought she would be a little bit bigger but either way we love bingo in this household and the bluey that he has doesn't make any noise so he's probably really gonna be like yeah bingo can talk to me i love that so yes i got him bingo as well oh and then the last bluey gift is this what does it say? Bluey's Ultimate Caravan Adventures. So I got this. Can y'all see that? I hope it's in the frame. Um, I got this from Walmart and it was $32 on Black Friday. Um, and the reason why I got him this is my son is obsessed with anything transportation. So I actually saw this. We saw this at Burlington, just laying on the shelf one day. And I left it there because I was like that it was $23 at the time when I saw it I was like that might be I've never seen this toy and I'm like yeah we'll see well I'll go price check it and we'll come back price checked it saw that it was retailing for $40 and I ran back to Burlington and it was gone because some genius saw that it was a deal and bought it um so I had to get it for $32 uh so it's like sale from Walmart but it comes with who is this up here Bandit Bluey and Jean Luc and this transforms into a playset. So you can actually open this up and it'll look like that picture up there in the corner. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. So he got the bully figurines and then it comes with a few extra little figurines. So that is going to be, uh, let me turn it around. Y'all see that? That's what it looks like when it converts to the playset. So yeah, he is going to be filling that. Okay. Uh, okay, so next up, my son is obsessed with Vlad and Nikki on YouTube. He he loves them. Like, he loves them. Like, he could watch them all day. So, I knew I had to get him a Vlad and Nikki toy. So, I found this Vlad and Nikki crazy, crazy rocket ship playset. It comes with two vehicles, four action figures, one sticker sheet, one tattoo sheet, and a water hose okay well it's cute um i don't know if this is going to be a wrapped gift or if i'm going to i don't know i i might give this to him the day before christmas with his stocking um just because it's the only vlad and nikki gift that he has and i don't really i'm not that great at wrapping like i'm not a wrapping connoisseur and i wouldn't even know where to start with wrapping this with how it's shaped so yeah it might it might just be given to him with his stocking the night before uh christmas but i love it and then we open it up that's what it looks like on the inside and so yeah so if you have any vlad and nikki loving kids definitely get this i got this off of amazon i want to say for like 15 dollars um so yeah he's gonna love that um so next up i got him a pack of lightsabers this is called the space sword shockwave four pack makes sounds and it lights up um and you get looks like it's green purple blue and red 
and you can connect them or have them separate. So the reason why I got him this is because we went to Disney World in September for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And um, he saw a little girl on the bus with a lightsaber. And we've never been to Hollywood Studios. He's never seen Star Wars. So he didn't even know what a lightsaber was, but he saw one and was like, that's really cool. And he was like playing with it. And the girl was so nice to share with him on the bus. Uh, her lightsaber and so I knew like I have to get him that for Christmas so I found this on Amazon I want to say this was no more than $15 um, on Amazon I bought this back in October I believe okay so next this I am not sure if I'm gonna wrap or give to him with his stocking on Christmas Eve but he recently is really into play-doh and so i got him this play-doh kitchen creations where you can make like the pasta and it comes oh dual color play-doh do y'all see that mm -hmm. yeah he's gonna love that and the reason why i got him this one is because vlad and nikki had an episode on their channel where they were playing with like a pasta making play-doh machine and he seemed really intrigued by that so i went ahead and got that for him uh, put that over there and then of course I had to get him some more play-doh to go with it this came from Target it was $4.99 I want to say and then this came from Five Below and it was three dollars so he's got all the play-doh he could ever possibly want this side of heaven um let's go with this okay so one of his big gifts which is not up here because it's too heavy to bring up the steps but he is getting a kid craft play kitchen I will try to insert a picture if I can somewhere up in here for you guys to see what that looks like but he's getting a play kitchen this year and so of course I had to get him some play food to go with it and everybody raves about Melissa and Doug so I got him this Melissa and Doug wooden pizza set uh, this came from Target I want to say it was on sale for $17 they had like a buy one get one half off for Black Friday so yeah this was $17 I want to say um and we've never had wooden toys in in this household so i'm really excited to see i did think it would be a little bit bigger this is given like a personal pizza size and i was expecting like a large domino size pizza but you know this will work it seems very sturdy as well so might be converted to the wooden toy club because this is really nice you guys super duper nice so i think he's gonna love that and he loves pizza um so along with that sale at target this was the one that i got for half off so i want to say this one was only like eight dollars but i am obsessed with this it is the melissa and doug thirst quencher dispenser so basically it has like fake juice right and you you know you drink it or you pretend like you're drinking it and then you can fill it back up with this and I think my son is going to be quite mesmerized by that. I'm mesmerized uh, by that at my big old age of 28. So I, I think he's going to think like that is so cool. So I'm really excited to get him this. This is what it looks like. So yeah, you can just keep like filling up the cup, which is so awesome. So yes, that will go. Um, that will be wrapped up in front of the play kitchen. The play kitchen will just be built for him on Christmas. I'm not wrapping that. His dad is going to put that together and i'll have these wrapped in front of it and also i plan on using his kitchen as like a functional kitchen so i'm going to get him a bunch of like christmas themed snacks that he likes like the rice krispies fruit snacks juices chips um granola bars that sort of thing and actually put in his kitchen so like for his snacks he can just go to his play kitchen and get his snacks instead of having to walk all the way down the steps and get it so i think he's gonna feel super legit with that Okay. Oh man. All right. So we're going to talk about Mr. Super Mario here. All right. So he was actually with me when I bought this and he requested this. He loves Super Mario. He loves Super Mario videos. He has the Mario Kart Rainbow Road Hot Wheels track over here that he got last year. He loves Mario. Um, so he saw this and he really, really, really wanted it. Um, and I still have the price on it. So it was $28.99 at Ross. And for some reason, I feel like I did not pay that for this. I'm almost certain I didn't spend $30 on this Mario, y'all. It was cheaper than that. It was not $28.99. Um, yeah, it wasn't that. It was probably $20. Yeah. Yeah, because I would never 
pay almost thirty dollars for this. I'm sorry. I love Mario, but not that much. Uh, but I think he makes. Let's see. Oh, you like can make him pose and make sounds. What are you supposed to do? Oh Lord, y'all. I don't know how this thing even works, but I think he moves. He moves some kind of way. Oh. Well, I hope it works. I don't know. Okay, so apparently you're supposed to like put him in these poses and then he'll make the noises. So maybe, I don't know y'all, I hope it works. <laughs> but this is it, it's pretty big and I don't know if he walks or not, but yeah. He's going to love it regardless. So I might need to get some batteries for it. But yeah, Super Mario. So that is, that is his only Mario toy that he got um, this year. Next up is Blippi. You know we cannot have Christmas without a Blippi toy. Um, he was with me when I bought this as well. I mean, you probably hear me say that for a few of these gifts because I am a single mother, you guys. And I don't have the luxury of him not being with me like at certain points um when he's at school i'm working and then on the weekends he's with me and that's when i have time to sometimes go and get this stuff if i didn't order it so he was with me when i bought this um and it came from a store that i have to shout out bargain hunt if you have a bargain hunt near you i'm gonna need for you to run run to the store okay because they have name brand stuff as well for cheap and there are a few gifts that I got from there that I was just blown away by with this being one of them so this is the blippy excavator oh it makes sounds okay let's see what it makes construction is fun <laughs> watch out construction in progress yes blippy so it comes with a little blippy figurine and the arm actually works oh slap y'all he is gonna love this but get into the price. So I want to show y'all this. Um, so it says bargain hunt price is $16, correct? So because it's the pink sticker, y'all, this thing rung up for $6. I don't know what the percentage off of $16 that is, but that's how much I paid for this. And this retails for way more than $6. So if you have a bargain hunt, you need to run and get you some stuff from there for your kids. They have like um ride on toys they have scooters they have anything you could imagine so speaking of scooters let's get into his transportation gift Ugh. it is this spider-man huffy scooter and the price that i paid for this it was on sale at bargain hunt was twenty dollars um and i Still can't believe that I got it for that price. I absolutely love this scooter. However, is the price in there? Oh, there it is, $20, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to be giving this away to like an orphanage here, I believe, because I realized after I bought it, I saw the price, I was like, yeah, I'm getting that and didn't really do my research on this. I want for my son to have a light up scooter and this one doesn't light up, unfortunately. So yes, I will be giving this away, just spreading some Christmas cheer to a family in need um, instead of taking it back and like getting my money back for it. I'd rather just give it to a family who could use it. Uh, so yeah, I'll be giving this, I was thinking the Goodwill, but I just wanna give it to somebody. So I'll be giving it to the orphanage um, that's near where we live so that those kids can enjoy this because they won't care if it lights up or not. And honestly, my son probably wouldn't either, but I'm just extra <laughs> want him to have the one that lights up and like makes the sounds but this is a really 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 nice scooter if you have a bargain hunt run over there because i'm pretty sure these are still on sale so another transportation gift that he got is this it is a pj mask skateboard we were at burlington and he saw this and flipped I didn't even know my son knew what a skateboard was, y'all, to be quite honest. Um, but he saw this and was like, skateboard! And he, like, knew what to do. He knew how to get on it and everything. Um, and so this was $15.99 at Burlington. I believe that's Burlington sticker. Not sure. Um, but, yeah. 
So this is what it looks like. And then on the back, it has all of the characters. So he is getting this. And again, y'all, how am I supposed to wrap this? Help a sister out because like, I only recently got into wrapping gifts last year. Like growing up, my mama was a bag lady. She would put them gifts in a bag. Nothing was wrapped. <laughs> so I only recently learned how to wrap gifts last year. So I'm not a pro and I'm like, what, how do you do this? So help me out if you know. Let's go over here on this side, shall we? So let's see. Let's get into the Peppa Pig gifts. All right, so this is a Peppa Pig matching game. And this came from Five Below, y'all. It was $5 for this. If you look this up on Amazon, it's more than $5. So highly recommend y'all go to Five Below. He is gonna love this. He has no Peppa Pig toys. So I saw this and I was like, that's, that's good. Cause I was gonna get him the Spidey and his amazing friends matching card game. I left five below, came back, and it was gone. So Peppa Pig was still there, and I was like, we'll take her. So I think he's going to love that. So this uh, is a, it came from Ross. It was $4.99. Oh, no, my stuff is falling over. Okay. Um, it was $4.99 at Ross, and it is just a Peppa Pig figurines peppa pig and friends it comes with rebecca rabbit peppa pig Susie sheep and pedro pony um i don't really i'm not a fan of peppa pig uh i prefer bluey but nothing wrong with peppa and her family they are right with me um so i think he'll enjoy this figurine set because he like i said he has nothing peppa pig and then i saw this on sale y'all this was at ross as well two dollars and 49 cents okay for peppa and george's ice cream time so it's just like a little cute little set and i was like 250 yeah 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 sign me up for that i'm gonna get that so i did so i think he will enjoy that oh i forgot to mention at the beginning of this video i do like to do themed gifts so the theme for this year's gifts are just imagine so all of his gifts I got in mind of him to use it to help him with his imaginative play because that's what he's kind of into right now. So I forgot to say that at the beginning, but yes. So the point of getting these figurines is so he can pretend play. The point of getting the kitchen is for the pretend play. Um, so yeah, real quick, y'all, I'm gonna pause for the calls because my computer just shut off. So let me go fix that and then I'll be right back with the rest. Okay, so let's do this gift next because it's just a box. <laughs> um, so this is actually from my sister's boyfriend um, and it came from Amazon. And I, I don't like when Amazon does this and put stuff in just like inconspicuous boxes. And I guess they do that in case it is a gift and you don't want somebody to know what it is. Um, so let me just tell you what's inside. It is the shaving and grooming pretend play kit. So my son is obsessed with getting his hair cut. Like he loves pampering himself and getting a haircut. And his dad cuts his hair like every two weeks and he looks forward to it. Um, and so he loves like the clippers and all of the little guards and stuff that come with the clippers. Um, so my sister's boyfriend saw like a pretend play um, barber kit basically for kids on Amazon and he bought it for him so that is what is in here I actually don't know what it looks like and I don't want to open it I want my son to be the first one to open it but that is what is in this box okay so let's see yeah, let me do this one next <sighs> all right so next up I got him a monster gym monster dirt arena set my son is obsessed with monster trucks as of this year, because before now, he was really only into the Hot Wheels cars, but now he loves monster trucks. And so this comes with a monster truck and you get two pounds of monster dirt, uh, kinetic sand. He's never played with kinetic sand, but I feel like since he likes Play-Doh, he'll probably like this a lot too. And this is what it looks like on the back. And I got this on sale, y'all. Um, at Target for like 
and I saw where on Black Friday, or was it the day before? It was the day before Black Friday, actually. They had this, this on sale for $9.49. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but Target does price matching during the holiday. So if you bought this from Target, like I did for $18, and you saw they had it on sale for nine, you could call and say, hey, y'all have this marked down. Can I get a refund on the difference? And they will totally do that. So I did get $9 back um, for this thing. So really, I only paid $9 for it. And it's huge, y'all. It is really big. Um, and again, this is what it looks like. And so it comes with two pounds of kinetic sand, but I also went ahead and just bought another kinetic sand in case this is not enough. Um, I believe this is three additional pounds of kinetic sand and this is like low key heavy. So yeah, he should be well, he should be all right with this. Um, but yeah, I think he's, he's gonna love this. It's really nice. And it comes with a little monster truck in there. We love anything where y'all are giving away the monster trucks. Okay, so next, my sister got this for him. I'm, as y'all can see, I'm putting out the things that I did not buy. Um, so the barber kit and this came from my, the barber kit from my sister's boyfriend, this came from my sister and she has a lot more gifts too that she's gonna be mailing. Uh, this is just the stuff that she had sent directly here like earlier in the year. Um, but it is this toy rocket launcher. So you step on it, he, he can step on it. It's like a little pedal, he steps on it and off to the skies. So I, oh, look at that, soars up to a hundred feet, y'all. Oh man, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He gonna like that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Does it come with three of them? There's like, oh, I think it does. So it comes with a red rocket, a blue rocket and a yellow rocket. He is going to lose his mind. I, I know we're going to be outside for hours doing this, but he's going to love it. So awesome. Awesome. Yes. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, let me go right here. So for his music gift, <laughs> this is such a self-serving gift and I am not ashamed. Um, this is a Paw Patrol guitar. Y'all see that? Paw Patrol, yes, I know we couldn't have a year without Paw Patrol gifts because they're his fave. This was $9.99 at Burlington, um, which I think is pretty good. So my son actually has not shown an interest in guitars at all. Um, let me tell you why I bought this. I love Stranger Things. Stranger Things is a phenomenal show. If you have not watched it, what are you doing? This past season was amazing um, and on the finale, they had a person, a character named Eddie Monson, who played Master of Puppets on his guitar. And ever since then, I've been obsessed. I, I, I said, you know, what if my son could play the guitar like that? So when I saw this, I was like, God, yes. And it's Paw Patrol with the big truck pups on there. Oh, yeah, he gonna love that. And you know what? That's actually a great segue into the next skit. He is getting the Truck Stop HD, the, what is it? What is it called, y'all? <laughs> the Big Truck Pups Headquarters. Looks like this. Um, this was on sale for $60. And, um, or $62? No, I think it was $72, actually. But it's huge, as y'all can see. I will wrap this. I'm going to attempt to wrap this. Um, it only comes with Chase, if I'm not mistaken, on there. And I think I got that from, I don't even know, y'all. I don't even know where I got it from. Oh, Walmart. No, Target. Got it from Target. Um, so, yeah. He's going to love that. It only comes with Chase, so I have to get him the rest of the cars. But that will probably be his Santa gift, if I'm being 100% honest, with the accompanying cars as well. Okay. Okay. So let's go right here. So next up, I got him this monster truck. This came from Kohl's. It was $11.99. And this is Dragon. And this is kind of like a bigger monster truck. He doesn't have any that are this size. So 
So he's gonna love that. And I think he was with me when I bought that. We also got also $11.99. Grave Digger. And this one looks like it's almost glow in the dark, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is glow in the dark, but he's gonna love this. I'm trying to grow his monster truck collection. He has a lot of Hot Wheels cars, but not a whole lot of monster trucks. So that was the purpose of those. This gift, you guys. Okay, so there's a story to this and it is just such an awesome story and it goes to show how good people are. There's more good than bad in this world, y'all. So we were at Burlington and we saw this. It did not have a price on it. So I went to the register and I talked to the manager and I was like, can you, you know, tell me what the price is on this? He was like, well, I don't have time to mark it right now because the line was really long behind us. I was like, oh, I get it. He was like, so come back tomorrow and see if this back out on the floor. So I did that. Came back the next day to, just to get these motorcycles because my son is obsessed with motorcycles and he has none. So we were standing in line. Um, we, we found it. And there was still no price on it. So I went I went in to get a line and go back to the register to try to get it because I didn't want for somebody to take it. Like, I really wanted him to have this. Um, and mind you, I went in there with just enough to buy whatever I thought the price of this would be, which should have been no more than like $15. That was all I had was $15. But I was going to get it because I need he needs to have this. So we're in line. We're talking to this older lady who's behind us. And... Uh, she and Josiah were just like having a moment. He was he was just playing with her. And he was like, look, my motorcycles. And she was just so sweet. And so we were in such a deep conversation. I didn't even hear them call me up to the register. So they were like, ma'am, you know, this, this register's open. And I was like, oh, it was so nice to meet you. Hope you have a good one. You know, I went on up to the register with the motorcycles. So as I'm standing there, I handed to the cash register lady. I feel a tap on my shoulder and I look over and it's the older lady that we were just talking to. And she was like, how much, are, how much are those motorcycles? And I was like, oh, I thought she was asking in case she wanted to get some for like her grandkids. And I was like, oh, I don't know. The lady, she, she's looking it up right now. Uh, she was like, well, I'm going to pay for those for you. And I was like, no, 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 no. You do not have to do that. I was like, it's, it's fine. Like, I got it. That's so sweet of you to offer though. But like, no, you know, you don't have to get them. She's like, no, God told me to get you those motorcycles for that sweet boy right there. And I, y'all, if I could have just melted, I promise you I would have. Because what? So she paid for these. They were $12 and she paid for them. So this gift is very special because it is from the lady at Burlington. She was like, tell Josiah it's from his grandma, his Burlington grandmother. <laughs> So this is from his Burlington grandmother who bought these for him for Christmas. So I'm, I'm really excited to wrap these and put these under the tree. And even telling that story back, I'm just like, wow. Like that was just such a vibe, such a moment that God placed on her heart to, to bless us. Yeah. So that's that's this gift. Um, let me see what else we got. Oh, right here. So this is a tractor. He picked this out at Burlington. <laughs> Have you noticed a, a trend yet? This was $8.99 at Burlington and it's huge. Um, and he doesn't have, you know what? Okay, so I just, I just realized something. He's got this, but then I also bought him this. <laughs> and I, I just realized they're like the same colors. Like he's got a mini version of this. That's crazy um but hey the more the merrier um yeah he's never had anything this quite this big it's pretty decent size i think so i think he's gonna um enjoy playing with his tractors so this that's this one and then he's also getting this tractor it's from adventure force and i believe i don't know how much this was y'all i want to say eight dollars at walmart and i think it makes noise oh and lights up. All right. Come on, tractor. We love it. Okay. So, yes, he is going to love this gift. And they're going to go perfect together. Again, how am I supposed to wrap this? 
Should I put this in the box? I don't know. Y'all help me out. Back here. Oh, all right, y'all. So this is like the gift that I'm most excited to give him. He is obsessed with this show called Blaze and the Monster Machines, okay? They don't have a lot of toys for Blaze and the Monster Machines, unfortunately. You're gonna be hard pressed to find any. Um, yeah, I don't know why that is. They need to come out with more toys for Blaze. So I saw this Blaze monster truck set on Amazon and it was $25. And I was like, I refuse to pay that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not paying that. Um, which actually is not bad. It's, equates to five dollars a car because it comes with five but i was like surely it'll go on sale for black friday y'all i stalked and i stalked and i stalked and it did not go any lower than 25 dollars. so i bought it and this is it look at that if you have a blaze in the monster machines loving kid it comes with crusher who is like the the bad guy um in blaze or the naughty car and pickle right and it comes with blaze and they're neon colors y'all like he is going to flip because he has just one blaze car that we just happened to see at walmart one day with the other monster trucks but he, he doesn't have the rest of the crew he is gonna lose his mind about this this is the gift i know i just showed y'all a bunch of stuff but this this is the one this is the one he's gonna lose his mind over i'm positive so, okay, let's get this one behind me that's been falling on my back the whole time. My son is obsessed with robots and he's partially obsessed with robots because of Blaze and the Monster Machines. If you've never seen the show, basically those cars can transform into boats, <laughs> planes. They can just transform and they can become robots as well. So he he he's like obsessed with robots now. So I saw this at Walmart. Actually, I saw this on somebody, Courtney Danielle here on YouTube, did a video last year what she got her kids for Christmas and she talked about this robot. So I was like, I wonder if they still have it. Went to Walmart and I got it. Um, not sure how much this was. Sorry, I don't remember. Definitely not more than that. It was 19. How does Walmart do their pricing? You know how Walmart doesn't do like the full 20th. It's like, it's like a obscure amount, but it was like 19 something for this. Um, and I believe, oh, it walks. Okay, lights and sounds, come on, let's try it. Okay, I like it. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And I think it shoots stuff. But the fact that he can walk is, is really cool. So yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna like that. He's gonna like that a lot. And going along with that theme, he's also into dinosaurs. But caveat to that, he does not like dinosaurs that look like dinosaurs. So like if it looks too realistic, he's like, ah, I'm good on that. It's given too close to Jurassic Park. Um, so when I saw this, this is like a robot dinosaur and he loves robots. So it kind of combines something that he already likes with something that he kind of likes. So it, it, it was like the perfect gift. But now that I'm kind of looking at it, it does look a little scary. I hope he's not afraid of this. Um, and it also walks. It's a hybrid dino robot called the Exosaur 2.0. Um, does it make any sounds? It says try me. Oh, right here. surely hope not all right all right exosaur 2.0 i see you okay all right so let's go this is another one of his big gifts but it comes in a small package it is the fire hd 10 kids pro tablet this was the first gift that i bought him and of course i have to get him a little case as well um this was 119 on Amazon 
Um, yeah, he already has a tablet. He has the Fire 7, which is a little bit smaller. So I wanted to upgrade him to this one with a bigger screen. And this is his educational gift because we are going to put all kind of really good educational apps on here. Well, I am. I'm going to put uh, good educational apps on him for, on there for him to use. And I think he's just he's going to love it. It's the 32 gigabyte 1080p. So, yes, cannot wait to get him that. Oh, this gift. Oh, okay. So I know I said Blaze is going to be probably his favorite, but this might take the cake as well. My son is obsessed with bubbles and my sister knows that. So she got him this bazooka bubble gun from Amazon. 67, wait, 69 bubble holes? Okay. Come on. Come on. Do y'all see that? He gonna love this. He gonna love this. If you have a, a, a kid who loves bubbles, screenshot this and go get this for them. I don't know how much this costs. I, I don't know. But my sister is amazing for getting him this because I wouldn't have even thought about bubbles for a gift. Um, but she did and I'm so glad that she did because he is going to lose his mind. I'm actually not sure which one he got. I don't know. I don't know which one he got, but I'm assuming he got the blue one, the blue and yellow. But yes, he's gonna love that. And I'm, oh, I cannot wait to see him. And I already have bubble solution. Okay, yes, it's perfect. So next he is getting this. This was from Burlington, $14.99. It is the Spider-Man versus Akbot. So my son is obsessed with Spidey and his amazing friends. He's he's obsessed with regular Spider-Man as well, but he, he does like the animated version. And on the animated show, they have Doc Ock, and he is obsessed with Doc Ock. We saw this at Burlington, and he was like, Doc Ock! He like went crazy. So I went back and I got it, and I think he's going to like it. It's like the Doc Ock robot. I'm not sure it does anything. I think these are just like super flexible versions of Spider-Man and Doc Ock. So I, I think he's really going to enjoy this quite a lot and he does have like the spider-man um action figure as well so yeah okay so next this this was an accidental gift um this is monster trucks from kid connection which is the walmart brand i actually placed a, a grocery pickup order and i put regular monster trucks on my order like the hot wheels monster trucks I guess they didn't have them, so Walmart replaced them with this. And I was a little salty, but then when I got it, I was like, that ain't too bad because it comes with two of these, like the the frame for the car, but then you can switch out the body of the car. So you have the green, the blue, and then there's red and yellow down here. So he's getting multiple monster trucks in one, if that makes sense. He can just change off the the, the body. So I was like, okay. I'll take it. I think he'll like it. I know he's going to like it. Actually, he's going to think that's pretty cool that he can kind of make his own monster truck. So, kit collection. I don't remember how much this was, y'all. I don't. I don't know. Probably less than $10. $15 on the high end. Um, but, yes, that was from Walmart. <clears throat> okay, so this next gift came from two separate places. Alright, so... My son is obsessed with all things transportation. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, but $7 at Bargain Hunt. This is the Rescue Squad cars. And he does not have, he has the ambulance already, but he doesn't have like these other versions of it. Is that a police car thing? Yeah, I think so. All right, these are all kind of ambulances and stuff. But yeah, so he is going to love that. I also got him the construction trucks i believe this came from where did this come from oh did this come from burlington yeah okay so this is from burlington for 6.99 and it comes with like an excavator tractor what is this dump truck what is this scoop truck looking thing anyway 
it comes with those so he is gonna love it and then i had to get him the city sanitation this was from bargain hunt also for seven dollars my son is obsessed with garbage trucks y'all i don't know if your kids are <laughs> obsessed with like trash day he loves that sort of thing so i thought that this would be really nice to get him like the, the garbage truck and recycling and all of that sort of stuff because he didn't have these so more cars to add to his collection all right so next up this is another gift for my sister aunt of the year you guys seriously um he has magnet tiles and he loves them he builds some really awesome creations um so she got him the glow in the dark magnet tile set i believe yeah this did come from amazon it comes with 16 pieces and oh okay so it comes with the led light and that's how they glow i guess either way he's gonna love this and to add this to his magnet house collection is gonna be amazing so i think he has like the 100 piece already so let's add some more to the party so this is from my sister to him for christmas all right let's get into the big one back here <sighs> all right y'all my son is not into power rangers but i told you he loves robots so when i saw this big gargantuan robot when i saw it i had to get it he he actually saw it and pointed it out to me this this thing is as tall as my son like he's eye level with this robot Okay, um, and let me see if I can zoom in on the price for y'all. Do y'all see that? $49 from Barking Hunt. I looked this robot up and it retails for $98. If you have a Barking Hunt, I'm telling you, run over there. Run to get these deals because this thing is huge and I think it makes noise. Let's see. I don't know. Whoa, okay, so it's called the Power Morphin Megazord. It looks like, oh, it comes with a Power Ranger little person down there. Um, and it, Oh, it's still making noise. Okay. And it transforms into like a lion some kind of way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna love this, y'all. And it's huge. It's it's big. And now it's still talking. I don't know how to turn it off, y'all. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And again, this was $49 at Bargain Hunt. So this is one of his big gifts as well. Big definitely like in size. I don't know how to get it to stop making noise. <laughs> okay. So the next gift is I don't know how to get it to stop, y'all. Somebody help me. <laughs> um his next gift is this monster truck glow in the dark collection i was inspired to get this from ashley sheets video if you have not watched her video of what she got her kids for christmas this year you need to run over there and check it out because my god so many awesome gift ideas for her toddler son um so i was inspired to get this from her it's glow in the dark you guys and it comes with the monster trucks and the accompanying cars oh let me not no there's no information on there okay um isn't that that's like so cute oh my god i just i'm 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 in love with this for him because he don't have none of these he's gonna lose his mind and they are very similar to the um blaze cars because blaze is like neon but these are glow in the darks so they're a little bit cooler but he is going to love that okay we're actually almost to the end y'all two more gifts <laughs> 
This is a cement mixer that I got from Kohl's. It was, believe it or not, I think this is pretty big, but it was only $11.99. It is the Batat cement mixer. And my son does not have a cement truck. And it actually works, like, it actually rotates. And he is going to love that. Um, I'm sorry, I have two more gifts because I almost forgot the big one over there. And there's one more gift that he has coming that I'll talk about at the end. But yes, I got him this and he is going to love it. I love the colors. I felt like it was a little bit kitty looking, um, but I also have to remind myself, my son is only three, so he's still into stuff like this and um, he's gonna love it. Oh, and it does come with like a little person that you can put in the car and drive it around. So yes, he is going to love that. Oh, that might fall over. Okay. All right. This, I did not expect to be this big. <laughs> it is the Spidey and his amazing friends eight puzzle pack. So you get two giant or is it three giant puzzles? No, two giant puzzles, one lenticular puzzle, and five basic puzzles. And it's big, y'all. I did not expect this box to be that big. I ordered this from Walmart and it was on sale on Black Friday for $10 for these. If you have a Spidey and his amazing friends loving toddler, this is the way to go okay my son loves puzzles he he had a puzzle uh set that i got him when he was smaller and we lost a lot of the pieces so i'm gonna pray that we don't do the same with these and i'm gonna try to keep them contained um in some kind of way but he is going to love this again i believe this might still be on sale on walmart's website for ten dollars it is the eight puzzle pack spidey and his amazing friends All right, y'all, the very last gift that I have here to physically show you is right over here and it is, it's big. Give me a moment. You don't see it? <laughs> it's as big as me, that's right. It is the Monster Jam Mega Megalodon. It, it is on Cole's website. You can still see the price on there for $109.99. However, Black Friday was very good to you, girl. And I got this for $82. Um, I know that's not like a super great sale, but do y'all see the size of this thing? It's huge. And it's not heavy. Um, it is a remote control monster truck. Um, super lightweight. The wheels are like foam almost. So it's not heavy. It's just very large. Um, these come in different sizes. Um, yeah, they come in different sizes. So I got the largest size you can get, but there's like a medium size and there's a small size and there are different price points. I believe the medium size runs you about $45 and the small is closer to like 20. Um, but he's going to love that. That is definitely not getting wrapped. I'm going to plop a bow on that and put it outside the tree. Um, but he's going to love that. Um, so for his very last gift that unfortunately you guys um, don't have here or in some gifts that I'm still shopping for. So if you have any recommendations, put them in the comments down below. But I'm still looking for him an art gift, you guys. I feel like the Play-Doh could work for art, uh, but I really want to get him like a really nice Crayola set because he is getting more into like markers and crayons and coloring. Um, so if you have any recommendations for gifts, let me know. Um, or some some colorful gifts that your kiddos really enjoyed when they were his age. Uh, let me know so I can try to find that because I do want to get him a very specific art gift because he doesn't have that unfortunately yet. And um, yeah, the last gift that is not here and it's the last gift that I'm getting him besides the Paw Patrol trucks that go with that truck stop. 
Um, it's going to be the, it's the Spider-Man ATV ride-on. That is his big transportation gift. Um, he already has a ride-on like Mercedes, but it's, it's kind of slow. Um, and it's almost too little for him now. Uh, so I'm upgrading him to the Spider-Man ATV. We love Spider-Man. We love Spidey around here. Um, so that is, it's, I'm just waiting to see if it'll go a little bit cheaper. I wait, I did look on Black Friday and it did not go beneath the price it's always been. So I'm hoping that I can get it, y'all. <laughs> really hoping I can get it uh, because I, I, I'm just waiting to see if it'll go a little bit cheaper. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and get it this week because I want to give it time to, to arrive and everything. Um, but that will be the last gift that he gets this year for Christmas will be that. And I'll try to insert a picture for you guys so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, but that is everything that my son is getting for Christmas this year. This was quite a long video. I'm pretty sure I talked your ears off. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I hope you guys got some great ideas of things to get your kiddos um, this year for Christmas. I am just, I cannot wait to see him open all of this stuff. Y'all, he is going to He's going to lose it. Did I go a little bit crazy? Of course I did. Um, but your kids are only little ones. You know, give them experiences if you can. Give them, give them what you can. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's going to lose his mind over this. I will be doing a what, uh, what I, what's in his stocking video. I will be putting that out shortly because I'm actually pretty much so done with his stocking at this point. Um, now I'm ready to start buying for other people. <laughs> I bought a few things for my sister, a few things for my dad, but I have a few other people to shop for as well. So I'll be getting to that, but he is mostly done, you guys. I know this looks like a lot. It is a lot, um, but he's going to love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, unsubscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.